hello to everybody from me, Sandra, at Timeless here in Tiverton, Devon, England. And welcome to our little video where I will try to explain to you the sizing and the differences in between garments in Alpine range from Ariba Knitwear. Because I have, I'm selling these ones online, so you can go on our website, which is www.beadandwoolshop.co.uk and just have a look. But sometimes online, lots of things look same. And sometimes you think like, well, what's going on there? And what size do I need? If I love the cardigan, will I fit in medium or do I need large? Anyway, let's start from the beginning. So and this one shouldn't be any confusion at all, right? There we have a cardigan and we have a sweater. But now there we have a sweater and there we have a sweater. So what's happening there? And this sweater is roughly 30 pound cheaper than this sweater. Why? Now then, so like I said, there is cardigans and sweaters. And both of those articles, cardigans and sweaters, come in two ranges. The classic range, where the distinctive feature is this bottom border, as you can see here on the cardigan. And that applies to other colors as well. Something like, there's another color from the classic range. There's the bottom border. Uh, there would be another one. There's another one with the bottom border. And then all the colors come in a sweaters and cardigans in a short range. Now then, and there is the short range. If I show you these two jumpers, can you see the difference? This one is short, this one is classic. The classic range not only has the bottom border, the classic range has a little bit of what I call fluff. Added. Can you see? And that's why I had somebody calling me up and saying, well, I love my Rebe Cup jumpers. And last year I bought one and this year I bought one and this one just doesn't feel same. No, because if you last year you bought the classic range, this one has the more softer feel in the yoke because it has the added fluff, the angora. This one doesn't. So if you this year thought like, oh, I will have this one, it just has that slightly different feel. So once you have identified which range you would like to go for, then you know what you need to look for. And uh, the difference in the length, ignore that these ones look nearly the same. I have tried, to, I, I was hoping I will have four garments in the same color, you know, one and the same size in one of the, you know, you know what I mean. But the trouble is they're selling so fast, so I need to kind of go in between the colors to find, let's say, the short sweaters, the long sweater, the classic sweaters. This one is classic cardigan and this one is short cardigan again and this one uh, is size where is the size this one is size medium the shorty and this one is size small so they nearly look same length so the difference is on the garments you will have the classic range will be approximately this much longer than the short range now then, other than that, I find the jumpers are slightly looser fit than cardigans. So if you last year bought a cardigan uh, in a size, for example, M, and you're buying sweater in a size M, you might find that the sweater is just that little bit more roomy, which is great because I think you have to have a little variation. And that's again because I, like, look, this one is my cardigan from two years ago and it's still going very strong and I can't justify buying another one now, but no, we'll see. But this one is extra, extra large and I'm size 18 and 6 foot tall. So what I like is the cuffs. So the length of the sleeve 
is never too short, which is always a problem for me. And that applies to all the sizes in both ranges. You can see how the cuff can be folded back. So that adds the kind of extra flexibility for sizing. So if you have long arms, don't worry, the garments will fit. Now then, where was I? Yeah, so the cardigans are a bit uh, more tighter fit. The one feature which I sometimes in the shop I find uh, I need to explain, and I know we all, I'm not a style queen and I'm not a fashion queen, but sometimes uh, these cardigans, yes, you can wear them buttoned up, but the best look is always just pulling one or two, or let's say maybe a few more. But if you would like to, but you know, have all the time, all the buttons closed, then possibly you will be better off with the sweater because the cardigan just asks for, you know, the cardigan is much more slim fit than the sweaters. Now then, if we talk about sizes, so I have the extra, extra large, which I very rarely get because that is special order, but it is possible with waiting time. Then we come down, I have quite a bit in stock in a large and extra large because I feel the larger ladies sometimes are left out and we are left with tent material to wear because the nice things always go for the small girls. So the extra large, I would say, is an average UK 16. And then it depends on the fit you like. Do you want more slim fit or tighter fit? Uh, large would be roughly 14, but then again, which brand? Uh, then we're going medium, which would be 10 to 12. Uh, small would be definitely eight. So somewhere there between, in between. What I find is the best way to find your fit or what you like is go into your wardrobe, find the garment which fits you well, which kind of gives you that feel. You always put it on, it's like, yes, that's good. Lay it flat and measure from side to side underarm that garment at home and maybe if you are worried about the length measure your well-fitting garment this way on the back or in the front and that gives you two measurements which you can then go online most of the garments I have I have put the actual garment measurements it will tell you if there is a, a size chart it will tell you is this the brand's official sizing or this is actual garment measurement. If it says actual garment measurement and you have measured your well-fitting jumper, then you know if there is something or the size which actually states that the actual garment measurement is exactly the same, then you know if you buy that, you will be absolutely fine because when it arrives, it will fit exactly the same as your well-fitting jumper. Other than that, I think all the numbers are kind of roughly guidelines because it's like some size 16, which brand size 16? You know as well as I do that you can go shopping and you can vary from size 12 to 16 easily. That's why we do have the actual garment measurements or the gu uh, size guidelines in measurements. So don't get stuck on the num on these letters, like large, medium, look on the numbers what explains the sizing and that way there will be less mistakes remember so two things to remember to round it up so not to go over 10 minutes two things short range without the bottom borders long range or classic range in cardigans and sweaters and then look on the size chart for actual garment measurements and that will help you i hope this one explains you a little bit uh, if not just email me your garment measurements if you are worried about size and we will try to get back to you as soon as we can and help you out bye